Robin Hood and Little John are walking through the forest, laughing back and forth at what the other one has to say. Reminiscing this and that and having such a good time. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. Never ever thinking there was something in the water they were drinking, they just guzzled it down. Never dreaming that a scheming sheriff and his posse was a watching and a gathering around. Robin Hood and Little John are running through the forest, jumping fences, dodging trees, and trying to get away. Contemplating nothing but escape and finally making it. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. It's good enough, right? You've got a friend in me. Oh, my posture is terrible. Hi there, thanks for listening, and thank you for tuning in to the fourth ever Monday vlog. With approximately one vlog a week that adds up to an entire month. You are exactly right. It has been a month since I started doing this Monday vlog thing here on the Your Boy The Roy channel. And it all started with this sunflower. As you can see, I kind of had to change after doing that little snippet from Robin Hood because it took me a couple takes just to get it right. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> This is what I deal with. Laughing back and forth at what the other one has to say. <sighs> Forgot to breathe. Little John walking through the forest. Damn it! <laughs> Never ever thinking there was ah. Damn it! This and this and that. Wobbin, wobbin. Jolly what a day. Woo! <laughs> All right, that was the first time I got through it, so let's try to do it one more time. But regardless of that, today is Monday, and you should be very excited. But I hate Mondays. True, and most people do, but you can put a positive spin on that. You just gotta go out into the world and be like, hey, today is Monday, and I'm ready for this. But if you're watching this on like a Tuesday or Thursday, you can still hang around. The foof is getting a little long. So in contrast to the previous Monday vlogs I've had, this one doesn't really have a theme or direction. It's just me, and it's just you. And I'm just talking. But it'll be cool, I promise. First of all, I haven't really gotten to flaunt all of my musical instruments on here yet. You've already seen the tambourine and the egg and everything else a couple times. But I wanted to show you all my guitars, because they're pretty chill. First off, we have my acoustic, regular uh, seagull guitar. Apparently it was handmade in Canada. Or at least that's what the salesman told me. But uh, this one I've been playing for about five or six years. And it's just been... Really genuinely my favorite guitar. Next we have this guy, and uh, this one's pretty special to me too. It's an acoustic guitar, but it's also uh, an electric guitar, sort of. So I can plug it in, and I can play it, and it can get amplified, and you can it can fill the room with sounds. And so that's really cool. So I like to play this one whenever I'm performing so people can hear me. And finally we have this guy, and this is just my regular electric guitar. And I got it in a thrift store for like $80. Uh, and it required a little bit of fixing up, it had a lot of stickers on it and missing strings, but it's really just been a blast to play, because I, you know, I like to rock out sometimes. And then for my birthday, I got this cool effects pedal uh, supplement to the electric guitar, and it kind of completes the puzzle a little bit, because I can uh, add some delay and reverb and distortion effects to my electric guitar, and it just makes it sound really neat. <laughs> Now, if only I had an amp that was bigger than a shoebox. That took a lot of time to set up. There's a lot of chords down here. Just being surrounded by all these instruments, it's awesome because it drives me to create things, musically and visually. So I hope I can just offer up a variation uh, of all these creative components that I have. I can put something together and create it and be really proud of it, and you can enjoy it, and I can enjoy it. So, changing the subject, I went to Goodwill a few weeks ago, and I got some ball pit balls. Ball pit balls! So because I was feeling extra crazy and I had like a couple bucks, I went to Goodwill again. And the stuff I got, I guess you could say was a little random. I got more ball pit balls. So now I have a lot of ball pit balls of various shapes and colors and I really don't know what to do with them. But I will find a purpose. And next I got something a little bit more useful, I guess. It's an iPod uh, docking stereo system for like $4, $5. And I plugged it in and it works really, really well. 
So that was a pretty good deal, I think. And then I got a couple shirts, and I got these really sick kicks, dude. Check it out. I own these now. And then I got a little uh, toy gun. You know, it's 99 cents, and it's fun. And then I got a Spider-Man costume, which I'm pretty sure is for ages 4 through 6, because it's a little tighter in places where it shouldn't be. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Probably should have washed that. And then this last thing is kind of hard to explain, but I got it because I thought it would be useful for something and I uh, it just might be really weird, but it's a uh, Winnie the Pooh. I guess it's Tigger. It's like a flag that you like wave. And I don't know if I'm waving this anytime soon. So I might just hang this up behind me or something. Maybe add a little bit more decoration to the two by two closet I have here to work with. There's a... Uh, Really not enough room here to do everything. Now this final thing, I actually got at Goodwill quite a few months ago, um, but it's my stuffed whale. Uh, that's kind of uh, been my cuddle buddy for the past few months, uh, and his little nose was actually split, uh, like like ripped open, and I got some needle and thread, and that's like the first time I've ever sewed, so I made myself useful, so I feel pretty proud of myself. But he doesn't have a name, uh, and I want to give him a name, so... If anybody has any suggestions, let me know, because I want to name a whale. This whale, to be specific. Well, I hope you have a very peaceful and productive Monday, and as always, thanks again for just tuning in and just watching. I know I usually only put one song in the Monday vlog, uh, but I'm going to end this video uh, with a little clip of a recording of a performance, I guess, that I did at this concert called What is Love? Uh, and I got to perform three songs uh, and so I'm going to show you one right now uh, that's a cover of the song Mona Lisa by the All-American Rejects. Uh, and I did it with the uh, help of a couple friends of mine, and I think we did a really good job. Um, so I'm going to end it on that. And thanks again for watching, and I will see you again next Monday. So, goodbye again. Why do I keep doing that? Keep saluting. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs>
when the world comes. You can sit beside me when the world.